So, the reason I'm doing this today is to bring to your attention uh, a greater part of Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. I've been since six years old, I've been competing Jiu Jitsu. And I had a lot of fun. It was a great experience to deal with opponents, tournaments, and all this competition aspect. But you don't understand by doing this, by competing like this, how special you are related to the rest of the world. Because a lot of people are not like you, and they don't like competition. So, Jiu-Jitsu cannot be exposed only for people who like competition. Because what we do competing is fighting Jiu-Jitsu inside a box. And you not become a martial arts, you become an athlete, a player. By doing that, you can be a great athlete, but you far away to be a martial artist. And All my deep beliefs in Jiu-Jitsu, they come in from the understanding of self-defense. Because self-defense gives you an open mind to adapt to Jiu-Jitsu, because the mission of Jiu-Jitsu is to help you to resolve the problems you have in life. And the problems you may have in life, they not coming in a box. I'm not talking only physical problems, I'm talking about paying the rent, problems, emotional problems, family, business, health, any problem you may have. So, and with the martial arts on your side, you're able to develop concepts which are going to lead you to a better life. And today, my, inten my intention is to give you guys the understanding of the concepts. Because we here have two groups. The groups of students and the group of teachers. For the students, when he opens the mind for the concepts, he will understand fighting in a different way. For the teacher, he will learn and develop ways to make these students perceive that concept and, and put an application in life. So the first concept we have to talk about is base. So, you don't know me, I don't know you. We face each other and you may expect anything from me. What you should do to keep your position, to keep your team, your distance, and be the most best protection you have against a punch or whatever I want to do. <laughs> By moving away, he showed me he's afraid. <laughs> By being aggressive, he showed me he's violent and he, he, insecure. So the best thing is for him is to be protected against anything I want to do. Keep his ground. So my advice for you is raise your head. You show me nothing violent. And he's here. I don't know. Yeah, you here. If you got him here, he's able to block. He's able to deflect. He's able to avoid. On a head So the head here will be a great deal. But Jiu Jitsu is not done. Not realizing when I have his side and I have my side. <laughs> the idea of Jiu Jitsu is to make him feel stronger with an invisible power against a bigger opponent. So I'm not too big, but I'm bigger than him. So now, don't let me touch your face. Don't let me touch your face. Don't let me touch your face. So even though his hands are up there, he is not able to hold Don't him to try to avoid. He still no good. What's your name? Kento. Kento san. Okay. So Kento san, keep your hands here. Not my feet. I will change the weight distribution to the toes. You said that you tried to do it. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Don't let me do it. 
Power based in the position, it's not strength anymore. Yes, yes, yes. Put your hand here. Don't let me push. Don't walk. No, it's not like. Too high, not too much. You cannot break it. I don't want to make him feel like he's fighting me. I don't want to make him feel like he's fighting me. I don't want to make him feel like he's fighting me. But I want to make him feel comfortable. Better. 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 Not too low. Yes. Yes. So, my practice is just days. <laughs> he go back home, show, oh, I have good base. And the same base make him live life different. Yes, I can block. Yes, I have base. Yes, yes. You start to, by dreaming, not a fight. This is not a fight. But this is a way for him to understand his invisible power. Because, for every position in the group, <coughs> all the positions <coughs> he's supposed to have a defensive technical way to deal with. And without the self-defense programs and knowledge, you're just comfortable in Jiu-Jitsu when you entangle in the guard position, which has nothing to do with real fights. And to know that knowledge, you don't have to be a competitor. This can be very helpful if you have a daughter, if you have a sister, if you have... Some, because self-defense is something to 
to add power of invisible strength within. <coughs> the fun we have on the mat is just fun. But in order for you to relate self-defense, to relate jiu-jitsu to life, you have to have the, the self-awareness of a lot of things. One of them is you have to be sure you have the best base you can have. So, the second concept is connection. So connection is what makes the, the perception of your opponent. And for a martial arts, the connection starts by looking. I try to get the best, the most better information I can have just by connecting myself with what I see. But if I grab, like if you grab me, and tell him to don't let me move. Don't let me move. So, he has the grip, but he's, but he's not connected. So, if I have my base, and I have the grip, and I'm disconnected, and if he's stronger than me, goes everywhere, go anywhere. I'm going. I'm going. I'm just, I'm just feel like I'm the end of the comment. I'm just the tail of the comment. But if with the same grip, the same base, I connect. Go anywhere you want. So, hold here. Step four. Four. Open a little bit. Back. Good. Flex your knees. Feel. Yeah. And don't let me push. Better. Better. Don't let me push. A little more, more connection here. Better. Good. 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 Okay. I'm moving back. So, no, not too much. Just a little bit. Yes. And bringing the weight to the back leg. Like. No, no. Pull. Pull. Oh, no good. Pull me again. Oh. Okay. So. Base. Yes. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Yes. Bend your knee at you. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Don't let me go back. Late. So, go back and forth quick. You understand? No. No. See? Quick. So no, no, more base. Don't let me push. Don't let me pull. Don't let me pull. Looks much better now. Can you feel the difference? So being trained on base give you the sense of connection. So, I like you to grab me around the waist. And he's already in a position to take advantage. But if I start to move, he's the one who's off. Hold. So he has no control. He has no control over me. Can you feel that?
Because if I grab somebody, I do Just grab and have my base. If you start to move, I will be off balance. He can sweep me, he can do whatever. It's not about the grip. It's not about the grip. It's about the connection. Go anywhere you want. So, so, it's still not good. I control. Stop. Step four. Touch me with your shoulders. Make sure, don't let me push you. Now grab me without changing the level. Yes. No, don't let me push. Now, if I'm moving away slow, I want you to bring the weight to here and bend your knee a little bit. Inside. No, no, not to move your feet. Just your knee. Yes. Good. He's out here. Good. Hip. Good. Shoulder. Close your eyes. Don't let me go. Good. 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 So you feel different. So the idea of engagement has to have this invisible aspect of connection. And he's just learning this today after a purple belt. Because he's been focused about what he has to do. But now how he's feeling about the position. In other words, Jiu-Jitsu, especially the modern Jiu-Jitsu, has to be a self-awareness of your own base, of your own connection, of your own way to breathe and control your emotions. Another option we have, another, another concept we have, is breathing and emotional control. So if you never learn how to breathe, but you don't have the idea how the breathe can help you in every aspect of your life. Because you learn how to breathe when you're born because you get a tap on your butt and then you wah, 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 and you start to breathe. But the normal breath is here. When I breathe the way I'm born with, I'm using only one third of the lung capacity. Not only that, breathing of the upper chest gives you an emotional claustrophobic feeling. You feel like more panicking, successful to get more panic. Instead of breathing here, you have to breathe with the diaphragm here. Instead, much longer, much more air, because the real legs is on the back, it's right here. Not here. By understanding and learning the diaphragmatic breathing, you open new possibilities for yourself. You are able to relax much faster by doing like... You can have relaxation breathe, you can have a training mode breathe, 
because another important thing about the breathing system is when I want more air, it doesn't work if I'm tired. I want because I'm already full of bad gas. So the liveness of your breathing is in exhale. When you relax, so my focus is not on the inhale, I need air. My focus on take the bad gas out of me. So when I good gas, good gas come in immediately. And you don't know how much important it is to breathe because Sometimes you stress, the, the modern warrior today, he don't fight with a sword, he don't fight with an axe, he don't fight on the streets. The modern warrior fights in business, fighting computers, fighting with pens, contracts, health problems, issues. So this complexity of stresses, by breathing, you know how to resolve those because you're so stressed. Oh. Oh. So it's many different variations for the breathing. Like for example, if you don't know how to breathe and you have to lift something heavy, you cannot lift like shh, no way. You have to fill up your lungs and then lift. But if you don't know better, you fill it up. <coughs> But if you know how to breathe, you fill up your lungs, you live. I still powerful because I never, I never live in my lungs. But I'm able to implement the stress as long as I want because I'm still powerful. Let's keep going, guys. Never. So breathing can help you not only for fighting, but for life in general. Like connection, like leverage, like... So another concept we have is a strategy. So a strategy is a sense of if I grab you here, what you do? You So I'm not even squeezing. Okay, so he don't know, he don't know the number one. So when you grab here, can I throw you down? So Step to my back. Is your hip? No, hip. Yes, yes. Now flex down. Yes. Got it here. No, no, no. Yes. Don't, don't miss your hips. Yes. Then lift up. Good. So, they. Yes. 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 Right. What if I do this? Yes, not bad. Flat. Good. So, Step back. Yes. Good. It's so so, not perfect. But strategy means you have to follow not what you want, but what your opponent gave it to you. And strategy is the capacity to say, oh, that's becomes too difficult. Let me go this way. Oh, this to this. Let me go. So as you start to believe in the options you have, you are able to think under pressure, but intelligently, strategically, perfect, without hesitation. So by learning self-defense, he's not in co he's not competing with me. We're not fighting. 
But just developing the practice for positions, for leverage, for options, for plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan D. So, strategy. Once you start to believe you have a technical option on the net, you also believe you have an option to revive, to, to survive or to deal with life in general because you believe in the power of strategy. Everything we talk so far is based on the understanding not of your opponent, but how you deal with your opponent. This brings an invisible element because sometimes your opponent is not a guy. It's a situation, so you have to breed on it, you have to have strategy, you have to have leverage in everything else to, to resolve the problem. This is a very comfortable and familiar position for everybody here, right? So, you do whatever you want, I do whatever I want. Go. You happy? I am. <laughs> so, he was not expecting that. Picture that as a normal training. How your jiu-jitsu can leave you prepared for any situation. So, we, jiu-jitsu, is a book like that. Jiu-jitsu competition it's just one chapter. So I highly recommend your instructors and students to start to get into the self-defense aspect, to bring in jiu-jitsu closer to your life. No hands. Move your head this way. Yes. 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 And after that, you can hug me, go to my... Yeah, everything can happen. But he has to feel familiar with the possibility to get punched. So that's only a very little thing. But in order for you to believe you know Jiu-Jitsu, you have to know the, all the possibilities your opponent wants against you. If you don't do that, you're still doing Jiu-Jitsu. But it's competition only. It's with gi only. It's between friends only. It's for the mats only because you cannot transfer this for life. And that doesn't mean he has to be prepared for a fighting because how many times you fight last year on the street? Nobody here fights on the street. But the real jiu-jitsu we need is to, is to deal with problems in real life. We can extend this to talking about one concept for the whole entire day and get so many techniques who are be applying on that or that. But my intention for that clinic here is not exactly give you options and escapes. It's to give you food for thought, for you to understand and try to seek for an invisible power you have to resolve any problems. And this invisible power is inside you and you not yet know. The last thing we're going to talk about is the leverage. So, notice I grab you here. How you escape from here? You happy? I am. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Can you grab me, please? Have So, if I try, get hold of it. If I try, it's hard. I have to have something bigger than that. And which is not based on my power, my movement, nothing. I want to transfer the leverage to him for him to carry on my weight and my problems. So his head is this way. I will step back same side. Walk forward. If I if I just step back without connection, it doesn't work. So I step back and keep connected on him here. Not like go. Not like this. So I have to connect, right? So go. Oh. Now, I will put my hands together and make a turtle back here. Oh. 
question? Thank you, brother. So, my head is this way. You're going to step back this way. Yes. yes. And it's still connected. No, no, no. Not with your hands. Shoulders. No hands. Good. Set base. Yes. Spread your base. Good. Good, good. Okay, again. Now, start over. Good, good. Now, together and throttle back. No, 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 no. Hold. Hold. Push, push. So I'm here. So, he's not here. Oh, oh, oh. This, yes. No, no, this. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Sideways. Yes. Hands go down. No, the back has to go up. Better, again. The back is not working. Good, again. Good. Good. Right. Oh. See the back? Everybody gonna stand up, you're gonna do this a little bit.